i35equipment.com. Today we're checking out the Caterpillar 320 hydraulic track excavator. This is one of the next generation machines. Newer and updated design by Caterpillar. This machine is excellent. We do welcome you to come check it out for yourself. You can bring your mechanic and operator or hire someone who wants to come to you if you like. But we can get a professional opinion. We are open by appointment only though, so just give us a call to get on the calendar. Phone ring is 405 833 6437. If you'd like a hauling quote, we do send equipment all over the country. It's again shipped to you, it should not be an issue at all. It's not for a website, call and text or email with your full delivery address. We'll share an address with several local cars and each one forever. We'll get back to you when the best rate comes back to us. We do welcome you to arrange for your own haul. We're going to make that for yourself if you're so equipped. This machine has lots of power, great reaching height for doing demolition or digging depth for getting uh, all your trenching done. That is a Caterpillar bucket. Has six teeth and a well on cutting edge. And if you're looking for a different bucket style, we have several new and used available at this time. You can see our full inventory of buckets and attachments online at www.i35equipment.com. Also, if you're interested in having a manual thumb installed before it leaves, we do have manual thumbs available. You can see all the specs for that on the website as well. The machine has all working LED work lights, dual travel speeds, cold working air conditioning, a travel pedal inside. Call will unlock the gate and show you where to dump at. Please, no grass, trash, or trees. This machine is equipped with CATS 2D grade system. That means you can get into the control module and set parameters for how deep you want to dig, how far you want to swing, how far you want to be able to lift and everything. You can utilize that to really box the operator in so that no mistakes are made or keep your right exactly where you want to be able to go. Really cool system. It is pre-plumbed from the factory for a hydraulic quick attach system if you decide you'd like to add one later on. love on the new next generation cats how they have this built-in sidestep system great access to the engine we're going to check out this access door here first another great feature on this machine is there's two different access points for checking out you can do so on the side without ever climbing up or you can do so from up on top of the machine nice and clean in here hydraulic level looks great what you want to see in a machine, real clean, real dry. You know, zoom out to that fish island to give you a good view of what's going to put all up here. Uh, diesel access right here, hydraulic fluid right here. And a safety valve all the way up. That's your cat turntable pump. Lines all look real good. Big glass on the cab. So if you want to check your oil, you can do so from this little door right here. Toss a little oil fill box 
one on the side we were just on. Get the operator a real good view. Dual door system here. Here's your battery switch. It's all in extra clear, extra clean. Uh, real good line of sight from the ground here on your coolant. And freeze. And then we don't necessarily have to, another thing like you don't have to climb up on top. Good mirrors, good glass, good lights. Go ahead and zoom back out to that fisheye lens so you can get a good view in here. Nice wide opening door. Factory removable rubber floor mat so you can take that out and clean it. Factory Caterpillar seat. Suspension as well as heated. Your heating switch is right back there. So if you're wondering why your butt's getting hot, you'll figure it out. You probably got your heated seat on. All right, just take a look at here for a second. This arm does come up and down to allow you better access in and out of the cab, as well as double. Uh, you have to double hit the safety, that's a new thing with Caterpillar, to verify you're ready to operate. Now if you do install a hydraulic recharge system, it does, like I said, it's pre plumbed it also has a switch right here to operate that. All the buttons on the joysticks can actually be changed and moved to the operator's choice by going through the computer system here. You see we have auto warm up that's ready. It's just letting you know it is warmed up and ready to go. No codes, no lights, no issues. Currently we're in ISO system. Currently sitting at 35, I'd say 35, 49 hours. Got an inclimeter in there, incline over here. Dual view cameras. Temp gauges, fuel gauges. Over here is your full control panel and all of your stereos and switches. This is your ignition. It's a keyless ignition system now. You can plug in your phone to auxiliary or USB there. 12 volt power point here. 
mute the audio there. This is going to go home screen, this is going to go menu screen, it's going to change up here. Radio on and off. Or you hit this, it's going to take you to the radio screen. You hit this, it's going to take you to the HVAC screen. So it's all contained up here. So we're going to hit the radio, show you that it's working. You can adjust through here, select that for volume. 5683. We're going to turn it back down. Presets, six of those. Cycle through FM, AM, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary. Okay, you're gonna go back to the home. You want to do HVAC? You can hit this button. It'll all bring it up. You got to set it cold, fan, and uh, where you want to plug. Going back home. It's gonna mute the radio if you got it going on. It's gonna take you to your info screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Press and hold that, and it's gonna show you the info on how you have your joystick screen set up. You can actually go through the menu, like I said, and change that around. Or if you want to program a certain setting to a certain name. Uh, so you can actually put Bill on there and how Bill wants his controls and everything. And then if Ryan comes along, you hit Ryan. It's a quick and easy changeover. Windshield wiper, windshield wiper for the work lights. Dual travel speed, so you got the rabbit and the turtle there. This is throttle. Before we go, we'll go ahead and show you how to change the operator control pattern. I'll show you all the functions here so you can see everything it has. All right, going back, home screen. You can change your operator, the settings, e fence, like we talked about, that's like the 2D. And if you, we're just going to click that and show you. Uh, it's going to turn on a ceiling, how high, floor, how deep wall, how wide, cab avoidance, if you are uh, got some sort of attachment on there and you don't want to be able to pull the arm in any further than that, uh, just how far you want to swing to the left and how far you want to swing to the right. Really handy if you're working in a confined environment and don't really want to go so far. This is your display settings, information, machine settings. Operator settings, which you're going to go for how you want the control pattern to work. You're just going to go to operator. You can hit left joystick if you want to change the buttons on there. Right joystick if you want to control, change the buttons on your right joystick. This is your pattern control. Currently, we're on ISO. You could change it to backhoe if you wanted to. We're not going to do that today, but that's how you do it. Restore factory, and then if you hit this, it's going to show you how everything's set up. Do hope this video was beneficial to you. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Happy to visit with you and try to answer any questions. Also, happy to have you out uh, to come look at the machine over for yourself. Like I said, just give us a call to get on the counter. The number is 405 833 you can see all the specs, all the photos, and more online at www.i35equipment.com. Do you appreciate you taking time to watch? I've been finished with you. I hope you have a wonderful day.